Months after several neurologists declared her brain dead, a Bay Area family wants that ruling reversed. KPI X5's Linda Yee shows us the video that Jahai McMath's family says is proof that she is alive. Linda? Well, Ken, the video clips do show movement, but are they what some neurologists say are spontaneous reflexes common in brain dead patients, or is it truly a miracle? Come on, girl, we're watching. Come on, girl, you did very good. She moved her foot on command, says Jahai's mother, and as the days passed, there was more. Very good, very good, Jahai. Nyla Winkfield has been by her daughter's bedside for the past nine months. So then I said, okay, well, move your thumb if you can hear me. And then she moves her thumb again, so I said, okay. So she knows the difference between left and right. She knows her fingers. If I say move your leg, she can. that's something that she could do with no issues. The family's attorney showed brain scans and EEG results. To bolster their argument, the neurosurgeons at Oakland's Children's Hospital were wrong when they said Jahai was brain dead. And a panel of whom they describe as experts with the International Brain Research Foundation spoke of the findings by phone. And now we know that at least part, parts of the brain are functioning. So we, we think, uh, you know, that um, this a uh, young lady also has the potential to gain more function. You know, no, it, it certainly um, hopes, not necess no guarantees, of course. His colleague, neuroscientist Philip Defina, insists more could be done to help Jahai. Obviously, we're dealing with someone that's alive. Questions have been raised about Dafina's doctorate in clinical psychology. It's from an online university and he was fired by a New Jersey hospital over a controversial therapy for autistic children. But Jahai's mother believes their findings and hopes it will bring her daughter back from the New Jersey facility that has cared for her since January. I'd like to see her back in California. I'm so homesick. Wingfield believes her child could get therapy here, but not until a judge reverses his ruling, Jahai is brain dead. Stanford medical ethicist David Magnus questions the findings, saying the Brain Research Foundation is not an independent, reputable institution. I would think that they would, at a minimum, need an independent court-appointed, uh, competent, qualified neurologist to verify that all the previous uh, um, independent neurologists who have done an evaluation did so in error. Now the family's attorney does deny that their newest legal option is all about money, but he did acknowledge that Jahai would be eligible for the same state benefits as any other person who is not brain dead and on a ventilator. That would be taxpayer-funded full medical care. Ken? All right, Linda Yee, thank you for that.